Let's talk about the uh, weather right now as we look outside. The temperatures are warming up. You see the clouds building. And Sean, as we look at this picture, it seems like the perfect recipe for thunderstorms today. Is that what's going to happen? Well, yeah, we've got the moisture in place. Uh, we've got the sunshine out there. Some seeing more sun than others, and I'll explain in a second. Now we're kind of waiting on the trigger, and it's twofold. The sun will help kind of destabilize the atmosphere, and there's a front coming in to help lift the air. Let's break down the heat indices, though. That's a big story. Almost 100 in Fort Wayne is what it feels like. 96 what it feels like in Muncie and low to mid 90s. These numbers again will jump up to about 100 to 105. Live Doppler 13 radar still a generally a clean sweep. Every now and then we're getting some very light returns. I suspect by one or two o'clock we'll start to see something more a little substantial on the radar and a few of these will definitely pack a punch. We look at the visible satellite, what it would look like from outer space and I want to point out again the eastern half of the state seeing less cloud cover and destabilizing more rapidly. So the coverage of storms from Indy over toward Richmond might be the strongest and most widespread as we work into the afternoon. It's almost 90 in Seymour as an actual air temperature. Underneath the cloud cover in Lafayette, it's 80. Crawfordsville, more of a milky sky there at 82 degrees. So we look for the sun again as the trigger. Here's future track 13 as we work through the afternoon. Again, by 2 p.m., we'll start to see some storms popping up here. A few of these, are dead. well, all of them, anything on radar today has going to be heavy rain potential, but a few of them may have some strong to severe gusty wind. The show is over by midnight, and then we will focus on the relief that we've advertised for a while now. 86 right now in the city, heat index of 92 because of the dew point that's in the low 70s, so uncomfortable air. Here's the forecast heat index away from thunderstorms this afternoon. Probably right around 100 is what it's going to feel like for several hours. The line of discomfort, that 60 degree dew point, we will go below that heading through late evening. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to feel a big difference and it will stick around for several days. So afternoon scattered thunderstorms, some of which will be heavy. They're going to diminish from northwest to southeast this evening. The less humid air arrives overnight tonight, and then we're back to some sunshine tomorrow in seasonably warm conditions. Above normal today, we'll peak out at about 90 degrees with those thunderstorms around. 65 tomorrow, storms will end before midnight, waking up to a, a pretty pleasant bus stop forecast here. So we'll have sunshine and temperatures that will be in the mid-60s. That wind of change will blow through a better part of the day. Now, don't get me wrong, tomorrow's still going to be warm, but where we should be in the middle 80s, but a lot of sunshine and no storm chances for Thursday and really it looks like even for Friday. Keeping Saturday dry right now and uh, the slight chance still popping up there late in the day on Sunday. But overall, the peak of the heat right now shows up today, Scott, and we'll keep you updated on those storm chances as we go throughout the afternoon. All right, Sean.